Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your favorite software developer, Tyshawn, aka Code Labs on social media. In the last video, we talked about if else statements and using the console.log command. But this time we're gonna talk about the for loops, the prompt command, and intervals. You ever been to a web page and then you get stuck on that page that keeps asking you to type in information? That's basically a prompt and they're using a for loop to keep you locked into it until you do what they're telling you to do. So we're gonna teach you how to do the same thing and how to get out of it. So if you get stuck on a web page and they're constantly asking for your information, that's a prompt right there. And the only way you're really gonna get out of that web page is by Xing that page off. So ta-da! You made out the page. What's funny is that most people just don't understand the simple method of just clicking that big X button in the right hand corner. So let's go ahead and make our own prompt. I'm gonna show you how it works, all right? And then we're gonna continue from there. All right, so let's go ahead, let's make a variable, and we're gonna call it uh, green. There we go, green. Green equals prompt. And then the open and close brackets. My God. You ever seen that dumb thing pop up? I know I have a couple of times. Usually when we're seeing that prompt, it has some type of defined message to it. So in order to create our own defined message, let's stop this live reload server on the right hand corner by clicking that checks box right there. All right, now we click that checks box. Now we can go ahead inside of the, the open close brackets where the green is located and write a message. All right, let's be on some, some scary stuff. Let's write, your social security number will be revealed if you don't give me ten thousand dollars all right that's kind of excessive so let's just write something small like uh, what is your name when you type your actual name in there the word green becomes whatever you type last you honestly could have typed anything but once you type the word green the last thing you type into that message is going to be what it is and if I haven't already said it before, the reason you click that, that check button on the right hand corner is so you don't get stuck in a loop from the prompt. Now let's go ahead and type the word green and see what I come out with. All right, so I'm done typing green. When you see what I came out with is, is my, my nickname, I guess. It says shine because that's what I typed in. Well, one of the many ways to keep a computer stuck in a loop is by making a while loop. And a way of looking at a while loop is this. As long as I'm not getting what I want, I'm going to keep asking you the same question. So in order to determine the length of a string, you type dot length on the end of it. And that's a good way to check to see if the number requirement has been met. So let's use that on green. While green dot length is less than three, which is saying that the characters aren't at least three letters, keep asking the same question. But the reason you don't see the question popping up over and over is because on this website they had to change a few things up in the past if you type these words in eventually you'll be stuck in a loop and then you'll have to hit the X to start all over so I'm gonna show you all a trick and everything I want y'all to right click on y'all browser real quick and then if you scroll down you will see the word inspect element and click on it and once this pops up you might want to just drag the edge of that over to your left and you might find something familiar for me on my browser as you guys notice the word console pops up just like when we're programming on our left hand side when you hit that run button you notice it says existing potential infinite loop at line whatever number it was and to disable that protection loop it says add in quotations four slash times two no protect so that's exactly what we're going to do so let's copy those words and place it on top of our work in the JavaScript section. Once that's pasted in there, we're going to get the constant output that we're expecting. For me, green should say shine. So while green is not equal to the length of three, which means it's not at least three characters, because most people's name is, is more than three characters, it's going to keep saying the same thing over and over. Just keep asking the same question until it gives the answer that I was looking for. Say if you want to put a, a limit on how many characters is going to be placed into green, you know, because sometimes people have long names or people type extra long things. You can put a limit on the characters by typing this. Instead of just saying green dot length is less than three, you can add and green dot length is greater than 12 and that will put an end to that right then and there 
for the moment let's make sure that auto run check is turned off and let's turn this while loop into just a double line comment and with that being done let's go ahead and try out a for loop so how does that look we're going to write it but before we get started let's explain and talk about it a little bit a for loop basically iterates through a certain number of times then it stops it's not like a while loop that goes on forever so there is an ending to this like most developers we typically use the, the letter i when it comes to the for loop so let's go ahead and write that for i equals zero i is less than nine i plus plus so what does this weird stuff even means anyways so first the i represents the number zero after that the i or zero is less than nine increment plus one so the i plus plus means plus one then it goes to plus two then plus three then plus four all the tip reaches nine so how can we verify that well the best way to verify that it's actually incrementing the way it's supposed to use the console console dot log i and what that does is just saves the number one time each time until it reaches the number eight so i it was equal to zero and the i is equal to one all until it took gets to the end you get to watch it happen in a lot of time so the last thing we're going to talk about is the intervals in the bare minimum of a function which we're going to discuss later on anyways typically you got a set interval meaning it's kind of like a clock for this many seconds keep doing this every second that passes keep doing the same thing so let's set up an interval and you'll see what i'm talking about to get the little tick tock effect when you know like, like, like the clock tick tock tick tock you would do set interval so you would type set interval or one word then next to it the open brackets type the word function open brackets again then the curly brackets and then we're going to type console.log tick and then let's on the outside of that make a comment and then we're going to write one zero 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 those stands for the milliseconds so every second is going to say tick so the last thing we're going to do is set timeout what set timeout does it creates a delay for a duration and then it actually execute the code that needs to be done okay it's going to be set up the exact same way the set interval was but instead of saying set interval we could just copy and paste the set interval and put set timeout instead and write talk all right so now we see how both of them works one is set interval which does something on an interval like every couple seconds or how many seconds you want to pass or elapse the second set timeout is the delay that you place on a function so let's wrap things up we talked about the for loop and how its purpose is to iterate through things and we spoke about the while loop which keeps occurring until a condition is met we also talk about a prompt and how it can keep you stuck in a loop and how to get out of it and the last two things we spoke about was the set interval and the set timeout so now you know how some of these pages are set up and how they're causing havoc um, I hope you guys are ready to learn something even better in the next video.